Ekabo si koni aji ara malifa TV. E subscribe si koni yi e on notification button ke le lanfa ni ati badu wa si waju si. A jo shekpo wa la file shi a shi yori. Gentlemen of the press and uh, my fellow officers here. It's a great privilege to reel out the exceptional performances of the Ogun State Police Command as it concerns crime fighting and eliminating of all sorts of criminality in Ogun State. You will recall that uh, barely two weeks ago we met here when we showcased uh, some of our achievements. And uh, today again, I deem it necessary to call you to come and see the progress we have made within the last uh, 14 days so that we can continuously update members of the public through you. The effort is the overall effort of all officers and men of Ogun State Police Command, including our tactical teams, various area commands and divisional levels at, and uh, various divisions within the Ogun State. Let me start by with the case of a conspiracy and armed robbery. And, uh, the suspects are Michael Otuka Bob, 33 years, Abdul Oriyomi Omoto Yossi, 22 years, Additional Sunday increase 25 years. Exhibit recovered from them. One locally made revolver pistol with four rounds of ammunition. One Toyota mattress car with registration number LND101 EC. One locally Okay. One iPhone 11 Pro Max, three iPhone X, one iPhone X, one iWatch, three HP laptops, two iPhone 6X, one iPhone 12, one iPhone 13, one iPhone 12 Pro, Pro Max, and uh, one black Samsung phone 13 with two caps and then one iPhone port. The suspects were apprehended based on a complaint received by our men. The detectives from SWAT embarked on an intelligence-based investigation and consequently, which consequently led them to motion in Lagos State where the suspects were promptly apprehended. And if above items were recovered from them after investigation and after the arrest and investigation uh, they will definitely have their way be in court arrest of uh, armed robbers and the recovery of a stolen vehicle name of a suspect austin omon eight thirty two years A Toyota Sequoia Jeep with registration number AAA631HX. The above suspect was directly involved in a case of armed robbery, which was reported by the victim, one Mrs. Iyola Miri of number 22 CAC Street, Matogun Urudu, Ikeja, Abado, area of Ogun State. The DPR and his men embarked on a technical based investigation and consequently apprehended Austin Omo at Morocco in Lagos State. Efforts are on top gear to arrest other members of the gang. Yet, recovery of a stolen vehicle. 
the case of a stolen vehicle was reported at the Teleawori Division based on district investigation and team efforts of the DPY upon in Lagos command. Police were able to recover the stolen Lexus 350 with registration number LND GU. Efforts are ongoing to arrest the fleeing robbers. That's the Lexus depart behind them. Shop breaking and stealing. One was uh, suspect was you do butter of old Ondo Road, Igbeba. Exhibit recovered from him one tricycle with registration number GBE 144VX. The above suspect was arrested when his syndicate broke into a spare part shop at old Ondo Road in Igbeba. The DPU, after receiving the distress call, promptly rose to the, rushed to the scene with his men. The efforts paid off as one was Odubote was arrested. Another gang members flee the scene. The suspect is currently helping the police in their investigation to effect the arrest of other fleeing suspects. We also have a case of uh, the arrest of a notorious cultist who also happened to be a murderer. Name Adeda Kotaiwo Arogundade Idowu Noa Jogumi and James Abiodun. Their own court group is a uh, Aye Confraternity. They were arrested at a uh, Kobakwe in Abekuta. Recovered from them was a Beretta pistol and eight live ammunition and assorted criminal charms. The above suspects were arrested based on a tip off about their planned action to disrupt the inauguration ceremony of the second term of Governor Dakwabiodun at the MQ Abiola Stadium, Kuto Abekuta, on 29th of May 2023. A team from anti cultism led by CSPO Luatos and Shubi, while on intelligence patrol, arrested Adida Potaiwo inside a tricycle at Kobakwe area of Abekuta. The suspects will be charged to court as soon as the investigation is completed. Arrest of notorious coaches. On Osonia, Ope Oluwa, 835 years. Friday, Daniel, aged 29 years. Otunia Samuel, 827 years. And your body, Joe Labi, aged 46 years. Uh, and your body joy is also known as a uh, bara. He was uh, apprehended at the at Aton in Ijebu. Weapon recovered from them are uh, one locally made double barrel gun and one locally made shotgun. Other exhibits recovered are uh, axe, dagger, jackknife, and weed substances suspected to be Indian hemp. The above suspects were arrested on 18th of May 2023 based on intelligence gathering on the activities of cultists at Aton Ijebu. The DPO and team acted on credible information, stormed their hideout at Marketplace at, in Aton Ijebu and arrested the three suspects. This is currently under investigation and will be charged to court as soon as it is completed. Arrest of another notorious cultist. Uh, Akindele Femi, aged 29 years. He also belonged to a year confraternity. Weapon, weapon recovered, locally made shotgun with a live cartridge. The above suspect was apprehended at the Tory based on court activities. Men from anti courtism units stormed their hideout in the Tory Wekuru, where Akindele was arrested and others fled to unknown destination. He has confessed being a member of a confraternity. Effort is ongoing to arrest other fleeing members as they will be charged to court soon. Yet another arrest of a notorious cultist. Name Abodoni Afis, aged 29 years, court group, a year confraternity. He was arrested from Owode Yewa with one locally made gun, one life cartridge, and a criminal. Uh, Charms. 
The above suspects was arrested based on intelligence report on the incessant court rivalry fight, which led to killing and wanton destruction in the Wodeyewa area and its environment. The suspect was arrested where they were holding their meeting, as other members fled the scene and citing the police. This is currently under investigation. We have another notorious cultist in our midst, in our, yeah, in our net, uh, by name Ishola Ayorindi. He was arrested at Idiaba, and he equally belongs to a year confraternity. As exhibits recovered from him, the witch suspected to be Indian him, the above suspect was arrested based on information received that a group suspected to be a confraternity members were hibernating in a house at Elite in Idiaba area of Abekuta. Detectives from SWAT swung into action and bust their hideout, but got only Ishola only they arrested as other members of the group fled the scene. Case is currently under investigation. Yet another arrest of cultists. His name is Suleiman Ajagunjeun. From the name, so you know the type of human being. <laughs> He's aged 21 years. Another member of that uh, gang is Okoyemi Adeshegun. 20 years. They were arrested at Itoko. And they belong to Aye Confraternity. It's like uh, we have uh, the dominance of Aye and Aye confraternity in this part of uh, the country. And uh, they've caused a lot of havoc. So the only way by which we can cop the excesses is by getting them arrested and taking them to where they truly belong. Yes. The above suspects were apprehended while they engaged other rival court groups in fights and causing chaos in the public space. They were accosted for questioning, but the other group members escaped. They had both confessed being members of Aye Confraternity. They will be charged to court as soon as investigation is logically concluded. And we have a case of uh, arrest of vandals. Name Nwoke Stanley. Aochi. These people were arrested at Ogijo, and the exhibits recovered from them were aluminum cables. Based on a distress call received from the federal court, CDA Moro in Ogijo, that some groups of people were vandalizing the community aluminum cables, the DP Ogijo, and his team conducted a search at the suspect's shop in ba Baga area of Ogijo and found several vandalized cables there. Investigation further unveiled that the syndicate has vandalized aluminum cables in more than 10 CDAs within the same area. The case will be tried to court as soon as possible. Then yet another case of a notorious cultist. Name Oshinuga Wahid, age 32 years. He belonged to Aye Confraternity and uh, he was arrested at Ijebuife. He was arrested with a cutlass and a criminal charms. The suspect was arrested in his criminal hideout based on a case reported at the Ijebuife division by one Kodri Okoyemi that the suspect came to his working place and threatened him with a cutlass. With intent to attack him before he fled the scene. Upon the report, detectives from Ijebuife were able to arrest him. Consequently, he further confessed being a member of Aye Confraternity and he will be charged to court as soon as investigation is completed. Yet another notorious cultist, John Taiwo. He also belonged to Aye Confraternity and he was arrested at uh, Agbado. The above suspect was arrested based on a report by one Busayo Damilari, a phone engineer at Badu Crossing area of the state. 
that John Taiwo came to repair his phone in his shop, but instead assaulted him for not fixing the phone properly and threatened to kill him. Upon the report, detectives from Albado Division swung into action and got him apprehended in his criminal headout. Upon district investigation at the anti cultist unit, he confessed being a member of the dreaded IA confraternity and he will be charged to court soon. Another suspected cultist, Ola Shino Hamid, Olubade Abiodun, Odeyemi Aziz. They also belong to a confraternity and they were arrested at the Lobo area of Ifo. Finally, we have a case of arrest of a notorious cultist and unlawful possession of uh, hard drugs. The suspects are Tohib Shobiton, two Babatunde Atin Shola, three Latif Yaya, four Nuruddin Tajuddin. They belong to a confraternity. They were arrested at Urigbegi area of Lafenwa Abekuta. Weapons recovered from them were four knives and uh, other hard drugs recovered from them include uh, loud hard drugs. You no, know, there is a drug they call uh, uh, hard drug they call loud. It was recovered from them. Also recovered were wheat suspected to be Indian hemp and the criminal charms. The above suspects were arrested by DPO Lafenwa while on monitoring stroke intelligence patrol within its jurisdiction. Received when they received an information that some cultists were holding their nocturnal meeting in a bid to unleash terror in the area. On the receipt of the information, the DPO and its patrol team promptly rose to the scene and succeeded in apprehending the above suspect. This is currently under investigation. Conclusively, let me further retreat that crime fighting is a collective effort and responsibility of everyone. Here, I'm calling on all good people of Ogun State to synergize with the police by anonymously giving useful information. This is the only way to fight crime. They should not be shy of giving useful information, which will promptly be processed and action will be taken. We are pleased appealing to all good people of Ogun State to assist us. Let us work together to bring crime rate to the barest minimum. Let us join hands to fight crime. When you see something, please say something. Don't keep it to yourself. Uh, there is another issue which has gained uh, a lot of uh, publicity and uh, which I believe there is need for us to lay to rest. This issue of uh, uh, one man who said he was attacked at a uh, okay one she uh, she gun show me or tumba she gun show me who claimed he was attacked at the court. I think uh, it's necessary to lay the record straight. On the day in question, a lot of policemen were deployed to the court premises to make sure to provide adequate security for the court. And we do realize the fact that when the court is already in session, it's not proper for anybody, no matter how highly positioned or highly placed, to break protocol by jumping into the court, by distracting the process in court. On the day in question, the court was already in session and They've even locked the gate to prevent people from coming in. But he, he came in and was insisting he wanted to go in. Of course, the policemen were there to give adequate security. And they said, no, you cannot go in. I think it was during the commotion when he was going out that they claimed that uh, some members of the public who were not happy with what was going on decided to now accost, accosted him. But it was outside the court premises, definitely not within the court premises. That is what actually transpired on the day in question. The police were there to provide security and adequate security were provided for people in the court. 
In fact, I gave a standing order. Anytime the court is sitting, my deputy commissioner of police in charge of operation will personally lead these men to make sure they have adequate security arrangement within and outside the court premises because we don't want anything to affect the proceeding in court and that's what we've been doing right from day one as i'm talking to you today he's just coming back from the court and that's why you see him dressed in camouflage because it's an operation just to show you that uh, we are very serious and we are passionate about what is going on at the tribunal we will never allow anything to truncate the process in court that's the position thank you my name is Dao yeah. I write for the past. I remember that uh, that 14 days ago you also beat us on the yeshiva. But I observed that uh, more than up to 90 percent of suspects that are here are caught as of the court. I you know about that, but the issue of courtism in the state is getting how to go beyond capability of security agencies. That is one. Sir. Two, sir, I was at the court when the violence broke out. And then we know police will definitely fish out the competitors. The courts on this terror on some people. We want to know is command going to look away or going to investigate on that matter. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the first question about uh, the issue of cultism. When I came in, I said we are going to fight cultism in Ogun State and make sure that Ogun State is peaceful for all law-abiding citizens. You will recollect that uh, barely a few days of my arrival in Ogun State, the court is unleashed terror in Shagam, and that put everybody on their toes. And I vowed that there will be no repeat of such action. And if you, if you check from that time up till now, you will see that we've climbed down seriously on cultist and cult activities. I said, no stone will be left unturned. No one will be spared. If you are found to be involved in cultism or you are sponsoring cultists, we will not spare you. And this are part of the fallout. And we will continue. The last time I promised you, I said we are not relenting. We will continue. For as long as we hear that they are uh, going about, because we know that uh, they don't mean uh, any good for anybody. They are always out to cause confusion to arm people. And that is why we are equally after them. Not until when they change and they are willing to live like every law-abiding citizen. Once they want to uh, remain defiant, we will equally be on their neck. We will not leave them. That is that. As regards the issue of uh, the incident that took place in court, uh, up to now, as I'm talking to you, there's no formal complaint lodged by whoever has been assaulted, apart from what is reported to the press. And I think I've even extended uh, our invitation to those people who were claiming that they were assaulted outside the court, that they should come up. If they come up, it's the duty of the police to investigate, and we will definitely do that. Yes. All right, yeah. sir. Uh, okay, sorry. Yes, there is this... Uh, I want you to uh, sincerely appreciate your person and your team sir, as the kind of effort put in place to actually maintain peace and order in the Boasis. The Boasis have been a, a flash point for some time, but now, by the influence of police, all those places have been reported. But in recent time, there is this speculation that there may be fear that one of their whatever, whatever they believe to be, a threat to them. And probably they may give a compromise or so, which I, I actually allay. But I wanted to, for public sake, 
want to confirm that? Well, uh, let me quickly retreat here. Yes, I said entirely, I said, regardless of whose horse is God and how highly positioned, if you are found to have contravened the law in any way, you will have your good day in court. It's not in my place to release anybody yeah. who has been arrested yeah. and found one way or the other to have been compromised by criminal activities. I will not. The case will definitely get to court. Right. I cannot. Yes. Those are the Yes, this is our case in general. Austin. Austin. Austin, no more. Austin, no more. Friday, Daniel. Friday, Daniel. What's your name? Yes, Samuel. 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 Those are Rest up your end. Hamid. Hamid. Olashino, Hamid. 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 Austin, no more. Ostinomous, eh? Ostinomous, eh? Ostinomous, eh? Okay. Abela okay. National okay. 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 
E subscribe si koni yi e on notification button kele lanfani ati badun wa si waju si a jo se po wa la fi le share